Hey guys, and welcome back to another cosplay work in progress video. So today we are going to be making the base outfit for my Sally from Black Clover cosplay. Uh, this is going to be really simple because it's literally just taking apart a bathing suit and sewing scraps together. Anyways, you'll see whenever you watch the video. Um, so if that interests you, just keep watching. Alrighty, so to get started on my Sally cosplay, we're going to go ahead and dissect this swimsuit that I have. So her outfit is like a ruffly top and then a ruffly like bikini bottom sort of situation. <sighs> Spongebob, whatever. Um, so what I'm gonna start doing, start by doing is cutting off this first ruffle just below this little seam here that's sewed in because there's like a built-in bra too. Okay, so I'm gonna start by cutting right here, cutting into it and then I'm just gonna cut straight across. I'm only cutting the front of this right now I'm cutting all of this off because I want to recycle these ruffles for the bottom. The reason why I like to take clothes and turn them into cosplay is because most of the time I can buy an article of clothing or two and turn it in to what I need for less money than it would cost to like make the, get the fabric to make the thing. You know what I mean? Um, I think I can just go ahead and cut that straight through. But yeah, so for instance, for, excuse me, for instance, this swimsuit was $17, I think, where this much stretchy material would not be $17. It would be a little bit more than that. Anyways, um, it's all also semi-constructed. So this top, once I cut it off, it's gonna be pretty much done as long as it covers this ruffle, yeah, this covers that part. This top is done. Like, that's the main reason why I bought this thing. Let me cut the tag off. Yeah, just for reference, this is a large. Yeah, so there is the top all done. Let's move on to the bottoms. Okay, so these right here are the bottoms that came with this swimsuit. This is actually like a tank top and swimsuit bottoms sort of situation. So it's just these bikini cut, whatever, uh, bikini bottoms. And I'm gonna be taking my leftover ruffles here and let's go ahead and harvest those. I love using the word harvest whenever it comes to cutting apart things and putting it for other things. Okay, so here are the ruffles here that I've taken off. They're like little triangle shapes. Um, I wonder if one will come all the way down. Hmm. I may have to make, cause this is gonna have to come over like that. I may have to make, you guys are seeing thinking in action here. Um, I may have to make like a second ruffle layer or I could just keep it black. I don't think anybody's going to hold a magnifying glass to me. So what I'm really going to do is I'm just going to um, attach this ruffle here and this ruffle here in the back. And this won't, this won't cover very much. Um, but I also, this cosplay, you're wearing a big, long white cloak with it so it really doesn't matter that you're wearing bikini bottoms you know what i mean as long as everything is covered i'm good um so yeah let me how do i want to attach this because it's stretchy material hmm fuck it let's use contact cement let's see what that does let me make sure i get the triangle pointed in the middle because you will be able to see the front bit of this cosplay so I'm gonna put just a little bit right there, fold it over and hold it there. I've never used contact cement or E6000 is what I'm using. Um, I've never used this on fabric before, so this will be interesting. I don't have stretch needles, um, so I don't wanna have to hand sew all of this. So this is a creative solution. Okay, 
Okay, so I went ahead and put the rest of it on there and I had an amazing revelation whenever I was doing that. So you know how earlier I mentioned that it doesn't matter that it's a bikini, it's a bikini cut in the back because I'm gonna be wearing a jacket. Um, newsflash, I'm gonna be wearing a jacket so I don't need to put this piece on the back. Sometimes I am just so special. So this is halfway done. We need to go ahead and make some straps for the sides because she has some little things that go up and over her hips. I am changing the design just a little bit. So hers is pretty low, like rise, uh, bikini cut, and then the straps are like where your normal waist would be. But what I'm doing is I'm putting the this around my normal waist and going to make the straps more of like a coming up over my hips sort of situation. I'm just not that confident to wear something that low cut or that low rise. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take this stuff um, and I'm gonna cut strips out of it, long ways, um, pretty thin strips, and then I'm gonna braid it. Cause I'm not sure, it doesn't look necessarily like a braid, but it does look kind of like a cord. And I feel like a braid would help me achieve that look. Okay, so now I've got my little cup here. I'm gonna use this handle to hold on to my braid. So I'm just gonna take three of the strips um, I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot in it. Oh gosh. I'm going to tie the knot, but I'm going to push it down to the end as far as it will go. That's not as far as it will go. There we go. Oh, it's stuck on my bandaid. That's gross. Um, so now I'm just going to put my little mug on that just so it has something to hold on to. A little bit easier to braid like that. And then I'm just going to tightly braid this. They're tight braids, but I'm also leaving the fabric loose, if that makes sense. I'm not pulling the fabric tight and braiding it, but I am making sure my braids are packed and pretty tight. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Okay, there's that one. Let me do the other one. Okay, now that I've got my braids completed, now I'm just going to take some needle, a needle and some thread, and I'm going to attach them. So the way I'm going to attach them is I'm going to sew this part, this little end of my braid onto the inside. Just go ahead and poke that through. Oh gosh, my knot was not big enough. Just wanna make sure I'm not getting the first layer. For the other side, which will be in the back, I'm just going to put it about where this part ends and sew that in there. Okay, so here it is on this side. Let me do it over here on this side. Okay, here's the bottoms and that's not the top. That's not the top. Where's the top? It's getting... Okay, so there's the bottoms and there is the top. Remember, we didn't have to do too much to the top besides separate it. Um, so the next thing that I would do for this costume is I'm going to throw on a big white robe that goes over everything. Um, but that is pretty much the basics of this costume. Okay, and that concludes today's video. If you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and leave a like. If you have something that you want to say to me, go ahead and leave it down below. And if you want to see more of what I do on this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. See you next time. Bye.